Hello everyone, Luke Taylor here for an amp demo and this is the Crate Vintage Club 20. Now Crate can get a bad name at times and I have nothing to say negative about Crate. I've only had the best experiences with Crate. My guitar teacher had a Crate, uh, I forgot the name of it, but it was a, a tube solid state hybrid. Really loved the sound of that, had great reverbs on it, um, perfect for practice. This thing right here is a Made in USA Crate Vintage Club 20. Now this is an all tube amp and it really is a gem so if you don't know about this amp I hope this is really informative what I'm gonna do just is run through a couple tones really quickly and then show you what how it takes pedals because I've read some chat board uh, questions about this amp and a lot of people want to know does it take pedals well so the answer is yes and then there's a but because it's all about how you run the pedals but anyway so this is made in USA. This is from 1994. I am the original owner. So this is all completely original and I really baby this. So this is the very best version of this you'll see, the very best condition. So again, it's all tube driven and it's three 12AX7 preamp tubes and then two EL84 power tubes. Now these are all original. Again, it's a made in USA amp. So um, whatever crate was using, I haven't been able to take off the back because I just leave this the way it is. So um, I think they say like SLM, you know, St. Louis Music. So they are whatever they came from, uh, from the factory. Of course, if you wanted to upgrade to like Mullard or, or Genelec, Gold Lion or Svetlana, something like that, those are also good choices. And uh, it's a 10 inch speaker. It's a really nice cabinet, really sturdy Tolex. And the top, you have gain, treble, mid, bass, and level knobs. And then there's like a mid boost. It's like a little, they have a little, little punch icon. So, uh, and then there's a headphone jack and an external speaker. Now the speaker again is 10 inches and it is a 16 ohm. Uh, so you could might be fine if you wanted to drive this, you know, through a bigger cabinet. It's 20 watts and it's really loud. It has a really wonderful sound. But if you wanted bigger speakers, you don't like how small this is, um, you can totally drive, you know, like an orange uh, PPC cabinet. One of those like a Marshall or something like that. So I'm going to play through the Instant Tiger here. And that is uh, with no sound. So what I did was, how I like to run this, I max the level. We'll turn it up, you can hear a little hiss there. A little hum. And then I just turn the gain up. So you can hear it's pretty dynamic. I'm turn it down a little bit. I have the treble on almost 11, I'm gonna say almost 11. The mid is down about 10 o'clock, I should say 11 o'clock on the treble, 10 o'clock, maybe 10 o'clock, a little bit 9 on the on the mid. The mid boost is out, so there's no mid boost in here. And then the bass is probably 1 or 2 o'clock, so this is the, we'll do neck pick up here. Play soft, it's going to be soft. You spank it, it's going to be hard. So it's a really nice, like, American bluesy sound. I'm going to go middle position here. sounded. Okay, so that's generally the clean sound and again like that is exactly how I would run it through a pedal board. So I will show you that later. Now I'm going to tweak the settings a little bit. Let us put all of the EQ knobs straight up and keep the volume and gain the same. So it can get pretty sparkly. Good, good note definition. Let us engage that mid boost. So 
be good, you know, if you're doing a solo or something. Um, and that is not foot switchable, which is okay. I mean, if you want to keep it, you can keep it that way. So let's do this. Let's turn the treble up about uh, three o'clock. We're gonna leave the mid there and turn the bass down. So it gets really clean. This is again with the volume full and the gain just up a little bit, like you know, just barely on. So if you want to do country blues, this is a great amp. Now let's get into the gain tones again. This is class A, 20 watts, single end. So let's turn that volume down. Let's turn the gain up to 12 o'clock. Okay, I'm going to put the knobbies back where they were. So treble was again about 11. Uh, mid mid is like nine o'clock, and the bass are gonna boost that bass. So gain is twelve o'clock. I'm gonna turn the volume up now. So volumes volumes out about yeah. Volumes about nine o'clock. So again, if you're playing really dynamic, kind of rock stuff, you can lighten up for the chords. If you want to dig in for a solo. Really, really nice sound. Man, just really warm and fat. Again, very voxy. Let's turn that gain all the way up. Okay, here we go. Really cool rock sound, right? It's really, really hairy, really fuzzy, really thick. Put on bridge. That's very martially though, but again, it has that Vox Kush. It has a nice compression. Gains up all the way. Let me put the mid boost. Boost, hear that? That's very British steel, isn't it? Turn that down. Okay, let's put the mid, turn the mids up a little bit, turn the bass back to 12, and then let's get that, hear that treble come up. Troubles up. So you can get it really gnarly too. Let's let's leave that setting there, and let's go up to neck position. That's more martial. I really like the sound of the game structure. really great. Let's turn the volume down on the guitar. So you get a nice 
crunch tone. Doesn't feel like you're robbing the feel though. Turn the volume down there. Again, you just want to play a little lighter. So I think if you're used to an AC30, AC15, but also Marshall Plexi, it's kind of like somewhere between, but in the 10 inch uh, speaker package. Okay, so here I have my pedal board. If you don't know what my pedal board is, I have a video of that, a link to that so you can see it. And right now I just have, I'm gonna do a couple of different pedals so that you can hear it, but right now I have the Fender 63 Reverb on. And that's not on very much. I mean, the mixer is pretty low. It's just so you get like what would be a natural reverb for this. Going back to what I said about the, the settings being the way they are, again, the volume is all the way full and the mid switch is out and then the gain is just barely on. Now you can put less bass on there but I like a lot of bass in there. Now here it is with a little tremolo. Again, these are all in front of the amp, just like they used to do it back in the old days. Okay, so let's take that off. Let's take the reverb off. Let's put a little distortion on there. Here's a little DS1. Now you can check that out with the actual gain that this has. It doesn't sound a whole lot different, but it does. But again, if you want like a pedal that kind of has that sound, DS1's fine. Of course you can make it a little less grungy you now. Okay, so now I'm going to do a little delay. Okay, here's a delay. This is a DD20. And there's no reverb there. It's pretty good, pretty good, man. Put the, put the reverb on there. It's pretty spacey, right? that off. Okay, delays off. I'm going to do a little wah here, just on the clean tone. Put the DS1 on with a little wah. Pretty 
cool. Okay, so this is a little super overdrive, a little SD1. So with the kind of the mid structure of this and the, the you know the small speaker in the boxiness, you get a really good punchy wasp. <laughs> And again, you know, the boss pedals, they're really common. They're not like the most, you know, they're not like I'm playing through a king of tone or something. Okay, so for the big finale here, this is the, probably the tone that you really can't get from the amp because you can get the overdrive and the distortion sounds, as you heard earlier. This is the fuzz. This is the boss FZ3. <laughs> That's it. And you can tell from, I mean, all kinds of music. I even played, you know, like Judas Priest and uh, Scorpions. You can do blues stuff. You can do like roots rock, country. I believe you can even do jazz. You might want to get, a, a, you know, a JC120 for that. But um, just really pretty much everything. This, this thing does incredibly well. I love this amp. And it is pretty light. I would say it's in the 25 pound-ish range. I'm not sure, 23 pounds maybe. But, you know, it saves my back not having a big uh, 2x12 or 1x12 amp. This, this is a perfect size and against all tube. Completely original. Uh, if you see, maybe in your local guitar center or garage sale or Craigslist or wherever, if you see a used crate uh, Vintage Club 20, again, this has no reverb. It's not the reverb model. I would totally pull the trigger and get it. It's a fantastic amp. I really... Uh, I really stand behind this product, even though Crate doesn't exist anymore. That's okay. I don't. I don't really care about saying, you know, hey, I love an app that isn't made anymore. I totally do. A lot of us do, because you know. I mean, I just want to say briefly, this is probably the the sound of my childhood. Um, I know Mark Knopfler was a Crate endorser at the time um, in the in the '90s, there, late '80s, early '90s, wherever it was. But um, I've I've heard so many, you know, guitar solos and great songs through this kind of amp and this kind of sound. And I really love this sound. I really connect to it. And uh, it's just perfect for me, so I hope it's perfect for you. I know that they make them in bigger sizes, like a 30 watt, and then there's a 50 watt head, I believe. Um, but yeah, this works for me. 20 watts, all kinds of great tones. Again, if you have your own, you can tweak it however you want. This works perfectly for everything I do. And I hope you really enjoyed this demo. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. Please check out all my videos. I have a lot on this channel. I post uh, three or four a week, so I'm sure you're going to find something that you like. Uh, more gear demos, too. Uh, so, yeah, stay tuned. Please subscribe. I really appreciate it. Have a nice day. See you.